Hello, friends. How's it going? It's your friend Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, the British Campaign, 1794 January. Adaptation with normal land and sea. Corsica. A glorious death is to be envied. Admiral Horatio Nelson. Hmm. Yeah, I think, didn't he get that? <laughs> when he, when he uh, got killed? He suffered a mortal wound. Okay, so here we are. Well, let's get the transports in first. How about Whitby and Anne? And we want the Sally, Durrington, Liverpool, and Fair Lady. 3380! Oh yeah, it's this one. Okay, here we go. Alright, we landed here. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna tell everybody to get going. Yeah, I was just taking a look at it again, trying to get get familiar, I think. Yeah, we want to try to time it so we can knock out both of these at the same time. I usually I usually cap that when I want to. I think the only thing they got over there, unless they retreat to it, I think they have a cav unit is all that they have over there. They've got artillery over here, up here. They got artillery here, they got units here, they got units here, here, in here, or in here. And they have some right over here, and up here. And, it, and I think in these woods somewhere over here. So, I mean, they, they got quite a bit all over the place. Let me go a little faster, I guess. Uh oh, I hear artillery. Yep. I would like to know how he sees us. Oh 
Okay, so uh, let's see. Did we, did we leave any units out? Nope. Okay, so yeah, uh, we took a couple of hits from the, that artillery. I, I mean, unless they have a unit over here that can spot for them, how does he see us? But maybe because he's on a ridge, I don't know. But so so yeah, so don't don't put any of your guys over there because he'll end up hitting them. So now I'm just going to figure out where I want guys. I want, I want a unit there and one right about there. And so then I want my mortar right there. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna let that one unit stop us from getting up there to get that artillery. Oh, I'm going to go back to normal speed. I, I didn't realize I was on a little bit of double speed. Okay, so let's get the supply there. Ah, see, so another supply wagon is going across. Well, we're going to try to get that one. Okay, uh, let's see how we want to do this. Let's get that one over there. Okay, so now, uh, is... It, uh, I was going to say, we better not have a bug where these guys won't shoot at the uh, supply wagon. <laughs>
Oh yeah, he's gone. Okay, so I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a marine unit over there. Okay, so anyways, the first part of this phase was to at least uh, knock out this gun, which we did, and we have it. So uh, now I have a few ch choices to make, but I think I usually want to get up into these woods right here. And uh, we're going to have to get the mortar up there uh oh okay hold on hold on This gun sees us. Now we got that supply wagon and this marine over here is going to go get it. Because it'll knock out skirmishers to get it. Now, what I want to do is I was going to try to use this one to spot so we could have this gun shoot at it. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. We got to go try to find that supply wagon. The heck. Okay, I got to It's got Can you Come on, what's going on with you? You you're a full unit. You should be able to take Come on, take Oh, uh Take that. There we go. Okay, thank you. Okay, and again, this is what the mortar is here for, is to take away somebody that's annoying us. Hide them behind our infantry, and that'll be that. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to do this in stages, so just fast forward if you don't like seeing what I'm doing. Um, I, I, I want to try to develop a plan here to knock out that artillery unit right there. But I would have liked to have uh, taken this uh, supply wagon, and I don't know where it went. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some units uh, head head to different places. All right. So now we got one unit right here. Now until I. All right, that's going to take a while to get over there. So let's go ahead and see. I got one prisoner. I might as well try to take a chance right here and see what we can see. See if there's anything over here. I got this infantry here just in case.
All right, we see it. All right, so we see it. Okay. Now he's going to get shot by their artillery, but... All right, and this will be good because we'll have both of their supply wagons. So at the very moment, I can't, uh, I can think of opening this battle up to where we got both of their supply wagons and one artillery. And we have another prisoner. Fuselers surrendered. Where? Okay, I need another marine unit. Oh boy. They're probably over here, are they? No? Yeah, one marine unit here. Darn it. Well, this is a marine unit. Hold on. Okay, so let's go a little bit faster. This is probably going to be another long video if I if I just do it slowly. I think what I want to do is I want to put a block right here with two units. Like one right there and one right here. I'm going to send that supply wagon over here to make sure that these guys have ammo. And this one's going to come over here. Because I want to break a, I want to break a, a skirmisher unit off of here to take this supply because I don't want 139 Marines just tied up on a supply wagon. Okay, like I said, again, uh, you can fast forward if you want. Um, I, I play kind of methodically, so I, I, I don't want... Uh, just in case some units retreat to here, we can, we can block them.
Okay, so now the plan is to knock out this gun here. Oh, he can see this gun. Darn it. Okay, so at least we can do that, and I'm just going to have these guys go and hide there. And I'm going to get the supply wagon up here to support the gun. Oh, it's very delicate to try to try to get this so we can see. Okay, you might think this is an exploit, but it probably is. But like I said, um, I don't like the fact that they don't have anything over here. And they get to shoot us without them having, you know what I mean? Like in order for me to shoot them, I have to have somebody over here to spot, right? But they, their artillery, if I move him to here, their artillery hits us. And they got nobody over here to spot. So I mean, you know, it's, it's whatever. So, so this is how I'm going to combat that is I'm just going to have this one, you know, be banging away at them. And 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 now I can see it. And now I can't. So how do you figure? There we go. There we go. Now, we know we got an artillery here. They got one over, and they got two, I think, over there. So, I mean... But, but I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to let this one do it. Like, where's the supply wagon? It's supposed to be over here.
Yeah, see, now he doesn't see us. Like, we're, we're on an angle where he doesn't see us. So that is really good. And we only got a four pounder and who knows that could be a six pounder maybe. Well, artillery against artillery. Let's see how this works. And while that's going on, we can Uh-oh, getting hit from somewhere. And like I said, if they if they make a rush for him, capture him, I mean, that's okay. I still got this one over here. Because I can't pay attention to two things at once. But I, I, I'm trying to... man he's that that artillery over here is still shooting at us I, I, hey, he's right here. Okay. All right. He's right there. I mean, I'm going to go take him out right now. I'm not going to tolerate him shooting at my guys from far away like that. Okay, so we got the, we got the artillery that shattered. Oh, we got this one right here blocking. Not good. All right, we got to get that artillery.
Okay, let's go back to normal speed. All right, so yeah, like I said, you know, you know, I don't like, I don't like getting hit by their artillery. <laughs> like, I know what I do to them, but I don't like getting hit by it. So, you know, it's very important to knock these guys out like that. So, I just, you know, once once he started hitting me over here, I knew I had to come over here and take him out. Like it was just. So I think I'll put Char on the uh, gun. We got another prisoner, so we'll. We'll send that prisoner over there, I guess. Okay, let's do it. All right, so we got that gun, so we're going to bring that gun over here, too. Well, I didn't see what happened to the unit over here, so I'm going to send Sinclair over that way. Okay, come on. Okay, let's see.
Oh no, we did not want to cap that. See, we're not even near it. Back off. Back off. Back off. Back off. Back off. We did not want to cap that. So don't go anywhere near this. That that's ridiculous. I you, we should be have to be on the flag in order to cap it. I do not want to cap it because if we cap it, they're all going to run to this plot here, and that's going to suck. All right, so we're going to get those guys going. Yeah, so this artillery is shooting at us, but we got, can't do anything about it at the moment. I think once we get in here, he won't be able to really be that effective. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Like, I don't know if we wipe this one out, so we might have a straggler somewhere. Might bother us later, I think, but... Okay, I don't know if, like I said, I don't know if, uh, let's send a unit here and one there.
Oh, yeah, look at right here behind us. There he is. All right. Okay, we gotta go knock that gun out next. Okay, so we got a marine unit here. Um, got this one over here to make sure that that guy was dead. All right, we gotta get these prisoners out of here. Come on, guys. Yeah, I don't know why these guys are... They're, they're, they're really hurting my units at the moment. Oh, I see. They have... They have two guns. Yeah, I really need my mortar over here to start doing some damage.
Okay. Yeah, I'm telling you. Okay, so I'm going to get my uh, supply wagon up here uh, to take uh, the, the depot here. I have all the prisoners here because I'm going to just corral them in one spot. And we're going to have uh, we're going to have this unit right here. And this unit right there. Okay, so we got we at, we capped them, so they're gonna head to the place, but that's okay. Now I know that a that a a cavalry will spawn over there. There he is. Yeah, we're, we're taking some uh, losses because, like I said, we don't have enough backup, but...
Yeah, like I said, I usually, like I said, I usually plan this a little bit better than what happened, so. So yeah, we're going to take some losses. Okay, oh, let's see. Yep, we lost the unit. Okay, well, like I said, I'm not, I don't like the way this turned out, but whatever. It's going to be what it's going to be. In my supply wagon, we lost one guy, it looks like. And but we got our five thousand or because I think it's down one guy, we might not have five thousand exactly, but it's close enough. Now Sinclair needs to get over here. So this is the unit that dissolved one of my units and he, if he does a three star unit, it's just gonna be ridiculous. <laughs> This unit has all melee perks, so I mean, you know what I mean? That guy couldn't stand a chance. Now get over there. Okay, so right now we're trying to fill up this uh, supply wagon. And over here, we're going to try to fill this supply wagon up. Come on, guys, we want to take that artillery out. Because that this artillery was the main reason we lost the two units that were over here, basically, because it, it cut, cut our units down. But, I mean, see, normally I don't, I don't cap these until I'm all set over here, like, you know what I mean? But, you know, like I said, I, I, I react to whenever their artillery hits us, and so therefore different things happen. And And I think if the CAV unit wants to be aggressive,
Okay, so we have an artillery unit right here, and we have these guys right here. All right, so like I said, mine is filled up. Um, how are we doing over here? It's taking a slow time. Okay, let's get the mortar. Oh boy, there we go. Okay, so, um, I think there's one unit left. I mean... I was kind of hoping, so I'm going to go super fast speed, but he's probably going to come out and get killed, and then it'll be over, but I was kind of hoping... Well, actually, they got an artillery unit. Yeah, I'm just going to have to say we're not going to fill the supply wagons up and we're just going to go ahead and kill these guys because I'm, I'm taking more and more losses. Oh, I, I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to stop everybody from shooting, but hey, that's the way it is. Okay, this went on long enough, I guess. So let's take a look at it for real quick. It looks like I had more than what they had, but because of all that artillery that they have, you know, it just made this a lot more complicated than what it should be. But anyways, I lost... Basically half of what I had, so not a good playthrough on this one. Not a not a good one. I've done better in the past. This is our units right here. Promoted, wounded, lost, lost, wounded, lost. Yep. So we got 64 and 46, not much, but we got our 5,000 back for our supply wagon. Um, it looks like that's all they had was four pounders, but nonetheless, uh, those things can do damage, and it did. Nothing else really to note about this other than we got 800 of these, so that's about it. I mean, everything else was, you know, what we either had or we just got a little bit of, so really not much on this one. 
But anyways, that's all there is to it. I mean, I took way more losses than what I should have, I will tell you. But you know what I'm saying? It's just the way it goes. Sometimes you can't get everything that you want. And, you know, you just, I don't know. I'd have to do it. Now that I did this, I could do it over again. And, uh, and I'm sure I would do much better knowing how the AI, the, uh, AI is behaving in this and stuff. But nonetheless, it is what it is. I'm just going to accept it and move on yeah and look at this we totally lost a marine unit totally lost a, a, a marine unit and on my supply wagon I lost two guys it looks like so we didn't get a full 5,000, but that's okay. And he finally got his last perk. We lost an officer there. So yep, lost a, lost a unit, darn it. Oh well, that's the way it goes. All right, well, yeah, I'm not, like I said, I'm not too impressed with myself on that one, but whatever. Hey, we we got the Royal White Cross, a military decoration awarded to commissioned officers with the rank of captain or below who have exhibited, ex, 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 exhibited, I don't even know how to pronounce that, extreme courage and military proficiency in the face of the enemy while serving his majesty's armed forces during time of war so so whatever one of my officers did more than what they should have i guess so that's that one career point All right, we're going to get 10% on officers' uh, chance to not die because we're losing too many officers. We are losing too many officers. Okay. Well, we don't have enough enough of those good weapons anymore. Oh, well, you know what? Maybe I need to unlock uh, some weapons then.
Okay, well, I, I, I bought some tech here and there, so I blew quite a bit of money and stuff, so I, I don't think... Uh, let's see now what we have for choices of weapons. Yeah, I don't know if I can... Let me see. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we have uh, these two ships, which are very important to be in the battle, this next battle coming up. So these are my... my Razis, and... Um, And now we have our third ship that's available. Uh, we're, we're getting down on money. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sell these four pounders. And if I make an artillery unit, I usually buy the eight pounders. So I'll have to buy the tech and the cannon tech to make an eight pounder. So if I'm going to do that, I may do that. So that would mean I'm not going to make the six pounders. So I'm going to go ahead and sell the six pounders. Okay, so um, now that I have a little bit more money, I got one ship available, two ship available, three ships, so I, I definitely need a fourth ship. And... I think I'm just going to go in uh, with, with um, I think I'm going to go in with these four ships and I'm going to choose to make these um, fire ships. The Dublin and the Black Cat. So we're going to go ahead and this way I can get rid of these. They're small. I'm, ho you know, I'm going to hope that I'll be able to hit the target. I may not be able to hit the target, but at least I'm going to give it a try. Only because I've, I've been paying for them for this longest time and it's been land battles and I haven't had a chance to use these and so therefore uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do the same for Dublin. This way, because I only have 15,000 and I do not have enough to, to do another ship and keep its three uh, perks. So this is why I'm choosing to do this at this point. Because, you know, I already, these, these cost me four reputation to have both of these. That's it. So this is the time that I choose to do it. So anyways. All right, so between Diane, Diana and Martha, all right, well now, I, I, all right, that's still going to cost me because, yeah, that's going to cost too much. So let's go to the Whitby. All right, that gives me 180.
All right. And that spares me 20, so it took all my money pretty much, but you know, it's what I did and it it'll at least give these guys two perks. So it'll make the ship uh from 11 to 14 knots. So that's that's good, right? 14 knots. So again, look, it's 11.6. And by doing that, and then by doing this, it's now 14 and a half knots. So these two will go pretty fast if, if we can go with the wind. But, you know, if the ship turns and broadsides, we, we might lose these. So, I mean, that's the gamble that I'm taking. And like I said, you never have to go in with all of the ships. So, so basically, you need four ships, right? So I'm going to go in with two fire ships as extra. If they can hit the target, they hit the target. If not, they don't. So that's my logic on that. So I would say that is about it, folks. That's all I'm going to do. So anyways, um... I guess you could tell me what you think about it, but anyways, it's it's what I'm gonna do. So, anyways, no matter where you are, just just whenever you're playing this game, have fun, right? I mean, make the best out of it. I mean, I I, I really didn't do as great as I normally do in that battle. So I mean, but I have to accept. I'm gonna accept that and move on because I still got a victory, no matter how you look at it. And I didn't get to fill those supplies up as much as I wanted to, but hey, it is what it is. So no matter where you are in the world, have a great day or a great afternoon or a great evening. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other. God bless you in your own religion, of course. This is your friend Jeff. So it out. Adios, amigos. And adios, the lovely amigas.